Hey, welcome back to Mr. P. Else with Algebra 2. This is Unit 5, Topic 1, SLT 2. Uh, still dealing with probability. We're going to be talking about two-way frequency tables. Uh, two-way frequency tables you looked at in Algebra 1. And two-way table just means that you're looking in two directions, both columns and rows. And you're looking at different types of data at the same time. Write the fraction as a percent or a decimal. So you're changing a fraction to a percent. You want to change it to a decimal. First, so you're simply going to divide 21 divided by 25 because that's what a fraction really is. It's just division. That gives you 0.84, which is 84% because when you change a decimal to a percent, you move the decimal twice to the right. Uh, 231 divided by 382 gives you about, I'm going to have to round this one, 0.605. Uh, let me see if I just made sure that I did that right. 231 divided by 382. Yep. Uh, so that's about 60.5%. Given the decimal or percent, find the amount represented out of 1,000. So 27% would be 27 hundredths. If you want to make it thousands, you just add another zero to it, and you got 270 thousandths. 5% 5 is 5 hundredths. Add a zero to it, and you get 50 thousandths. 12.5% will be 12.125, which is already thousandths. So that's 125 out of 1,000. Uh, this is already thousandths, so it's 132 thousandths. And this is 75 hundredths. Add another zero to it, and you got 750 thousandths. Okay, uh, so looking at homework, quick look. You can stop it if you need to. Uh, I'm not going to go through those questions. So based upon the survey, so you're looking at a two-way frequency table, which means you're looking at, you're, you're taking all the, the surveys. So this is determining whether or not people want to have a new high school build or not. And you're looking from left to right. You're looking to see what age the people were. And then you can also break it down into whether or not they're males or females, whether or not they chose yes or no, in this case, going vertically, uh, so in your columns. Based on the survey, do you think the school board should recommend a new, building a new high school? All you have to do is look at the totals. Uh, the difference, These two right here are going to be more than these two right here, so it looks like the answer is yes. An eligible voter is picked at random if this person is 21 years old, so we're only going to look at the 21-year-old, which would be this category right here. Do you think they would indicate building a new high school or not? Well, clearly, in the 21-year-old, it's clearly more yeses than noes, so I'm going to say yes in that case. If a 55-year-old person is picked at random, do you think that they will want to build a new high school? So 55% is these two, so that adds up to 66. These two add up to, what is that, 79? So I'm going to go with no. So what it looks like to me is that the older you get, the less likely you are to choose yes. Uh, which in this case makes me think that, you know, these people, they don't want their tax to spend on something they're not going to use, whereas younger people who may have kids that are going to be using the new high school are going to be more likely to choose yes. Or if they're in high school, then they definitely know that they need a new high school, so they're definitely going to choose it. So if they're in uh, that 18 to 25, which means they is probably just out of high school, I should say, uh, which means they, they know that they need a high school and they want one built and they don't want somebody else going to the same school that they just came from. Or something like that. So there's multiple reasons, the reasons why. Um, then, okay, so what I've then done is I've compiled, sorry, I keep flipping back and forth, those data into just not males and females, just yeses and noes. So I combine those by adding two categories, the, the males and females for each one. Uh, and we have some headlines. So we're going to look at these headlines to determine if these headlines uh, support, are supported by the data. What does voters likely to support building a new high school? Well, uh, it looks kind of likely because it's 273 out of 515, so that's more like that's more likely than the nose. Um, older voters less likely to support the building in a new high school. Older people are less likely um, because 53 is greater than 33. Younger voters not interested in building a new high school. That's not true because the younger voters are overwhelmingly more yeses than noes. All right, so if we look at the, another one here, so these are out of a thousand, so 
This is another skill. This is a little bit different than what we were just doing. That was more of a basic review. So the probability of randomly set the student we found to be is this. So just like the warm up, that's 193 out of 1,000. So we make this box out of 1,000. So these are your totals. So these are your marginal datas out here and then your index datas on the inside. Uh, so it's kind of like the margins of a piece of paper. It's on the outside of the paper. So these are all the totals. Those are your margins. And then the index is whatever data it takes to create those totals on the inside. So there's 193, so you simply put that 193 right here. That's the probability high school is found to have asthma. So that's all the people who chose asthma, so that's a total. Probability of randomly selected student having at least one member, so that's in this column, uh, in their household who smoked was reported to be 421. So that's 421 out of a thousand. Now once you have this number and this number and you know this is a thousand, you can find the rest using mostly just subtraction. So a thousand minus 193 is 807 because you know these two add up to a thousand and these two have to also add up to a thousand. So a thousand minus 421 is 579. Now how to get these numbers right here? So these blue numbers aren't here right just yet. So I've only done this part. Uh, these blue numbers come from down here. So it tells you down here that this is 120. People who have at least one person who smokes and has asthma. So that's 120. Now I can find the other numbers by using subtraction. If I know this is 120 and I know these two have to add up to 421, then I subtract. 421 minus 120 is 301. And then once I have these two numbers, I can find these two numbers by subtracting by the columns. If this is 301 and the total has to be 807 in this row, uh, then I do 807 minus 301 is 506. Do the same thing here. If I know this is the total of this row, then I do 193 minus 120 gives me 73 because these two have to add up to 193. Just like these two have to add up in the columns. So the columns have to add up to the totals and the rows have to also add up to the totals. And then you can use it to solve these questions, which I'm not going to get into because this is good practice, and I'm going to stop right there because I've covered basically the basics. Thanks again for watching, and have a wonderful day.